Grimago, first of all, I want to uh, welcome to speak on the motion and um, thank Sinn Féin um, and Claire. Um, Minister, one thing that must be re realised, and Deputy Kenny mentioned it earlier on, in a lot of the social housing, for example, Shoom, um, different parts of County Galway, and Roscommon as well, there's ranges in, the stoves in, um, they're on 13,000 a year. Um, the councils aren't going to have all them changed by next September. A lot of those people buy either a plot of turf or they buy a few trailer loads of turf from someone. And I think you need to first understand about turf. And I won't deny it, I'm a bog man, I was in it this morning. And I met a few people um, in it. And there's an attitude at the moment with the way this has been handled that it's like the bully in the schoolyard is taking it out on the small children because they feel that at the moment they're being targeted while 7,000 tonnes of coal is burdened below on money point to keep the lights on. And I'm not saying you have them to do that because we're under pressure. Six Arctic loads of diesel or oil is going to keep the generators going. And we're talking about people burning a bit of turf. You need a transition and we need to resolve this issue. We cannot have every deputy, I'd say, around the country, from Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil, have gone on radio stations against someone in opposition, and they're agreeing with them that this cannot happen. But when a vote comes or whatever, they'll still run in and do the same thing. And we need to resolve this issue. That's what we were told to use for our hands during COVID. One battle, another battle. Say that was a Pete Briquette and say that was a set of turf. What's the difference? You've said it's out of turf or that a peat briquette is okay. I've done tests on it, and I know that you'll say UCD and these done tests. If you let something season, you bring down the moisture content. And I believe, Minister, I backed you on the timber that's under 25, and I believe you're leaving it at that. And I believe you need to work with the industry over the next few years to resolve this issue. But on top of that, clarification needs to come rapidly. One line statement went, Turbury writes. Well, hey presto, the bottom line on it is, is that there is 10 different ways you can own a bog. You have fee simple rights. You have acquired rights. What about the people that, are, that historically took a plot of wet turf and used it? Be them in a town, over 500, in a city or wherever. There are people with turbary rights that live in cities. The understanding of this is complex, and I think your department, actually the National Parks, and look at I fought with them many a day, but they have a fair knowledge, in fairness to them, of what went on and the different types of ownership and everything in the bog. What about the people? And bear in mind this minister, this Nagira bog is 3,000 acres. On one side of the road, the people worked at the National Parks and preserved it. On the other side of the road is 100 acres where they cut their bit of turf. What about the people that gave up their bog and then were told by the National Parks, we'll give you turf, because by the way, ye the state pays for turf at the moment to bring to people's houses. On top of that, what about the people that were asked to take money and buy turf somewhere? What about the people that moved to relocation sites? under a license. Is that turbury right? No, it wasn't. But one liner came out about a turbury right. We know that since 2020, home heat denial, 43 cent in 2020. Today, I think about 130. Gas gone up 45, 50%. You cannot just knock off one light or tell someone in September they have to stop this. What you need is a just transition. And in my opinion, Minister, this isn't going against you. This is working, the TCCA as well are willing to work with you. But the one thing you've got to do is come down off the high horses in this September deadline. What needs to be done is you work with an industry that in larger urban areas, you bring the moisture content down. That if the peat briquette is sound, that you get the moisture under the 25% that you require be it with timber or be it with peat. And that is achievable if you do it that way. We don't have to complicate it and say we're going to talk about this town now has 100 people and that one has 500 people. This one has 50,000, so geez, that's a no-go. What you do is you bring in something 
that over being five or ten thousand people that the, 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 like the timber that the moisture content is at a level because unless I think people think we're gorms in rural Ireland that you go out and you cut a tree today and you burn it and you split the, the chimney liner like to make sure that you do harm um, like Jesus that's not done you season it the same with turf I spoke to a person today that has turf in a shed for two years to let it season and I guarantee you the moisture of that is below a peat briquette. So there needs to be rationale brought into this. There needs to be common sense brought into it. And above all, there needs to be people talking about it that know a bit about it. I've listened to stuff in here tonight and it'd make you vomit when you come from a bog to listen to the BS that came out of some people about mine and turf. But the Lord Jesus, mining. Above all things, People knew, a lot of people are talking about bogs and they know nothing about it. I've lived in it, I came from it, I grew up in it, and I'm proud to be from it. But I'll tell you one thing, Minister, you need to, to sit down, whatever, be it talk to your backbenchers, we will work with you. But the bottom line on it is, today, the machines were out in every bog in the country cutting turf. You cannot tell them people, oh Jesus, next September, now you cannot buy this, because the turf is cut. Thank you, it's done. So you need to study up, work with people, and you can get to where you want to go to, but bring the people with you, you not have them kicking against you. Thank you, Deputy.